I got a Burr deal in a neighborhood of Cleveland that I'm anticipating a ton of gentrification and price appreciation. Rainy, this is your show. Let's dive in. This is your show. This is the show where I work for you directly, taking your needs. I'm going through the MLS, and I'm trying to find the best possible deal for you guys. Put down 25%. That's the perfect way to buy this. That's why real estate investing is the greatest industry in the world. Hey, folks. Welcome to another episode of the MLS Search and Analysis Show here on Holton Wise TV. I'm your host, James Wise, and folks... Uh, just quickly, quickly. I'm going to do this really quick, so uh, don't get bored or don't uh, don't click off the video or anything just yet. If you're new to Holton Wise TV, okay, we're all about providing you guys with transparency and education into the real estate investment space. But a lot of people do that. That's not earth-shattering. That's not revolutionary. Where we take it one step further, folks, is we are real real estate investors. We are real real estate brokers. I'm a licensed real estate broker in Ohio. We have a real insurance company, real title companies. We are real property managers and general contractors. We can not only give you this transparency, not only give you this education, but we couple that with actual real-life deals, and we can help you run these investments Top to bottom, completely turnkey, completely simple. And this show, the MLS Search and Analysis show, is probably the most interactive show we have. This is where I literally talk to you. You guys order packages. You guys tell me your wants, your needs, your goals. And I try to find properties that best fit them. And my client right now, my investor, his name is Rainey. We've done a couple videos together, brother. And, you know... Where we're at right now in the Cleveland market, because I can only analyze and sell you what's available, uh, you're hoping to do bird deals. I know you got $100,000, and you like two to four units, um, but I got a single for you today because it's really it's in the prime area, and that's the other thing, right? You're interested in B or C. This is technically a D-class neighborhood, but this is unlike any other D-class neighborhood in our market. As a matter of fact, I am more excited about this D-class neighborhood than I am about surrounding C-class neighborhoods because this is in the Clark Fulton, uh, you know, northern Brooklyn Center type area, okay? All these little, you know, inner, inner close, inner ring uh, west side neighborhoods is what I'm trying to say. Like, you know, very close to the downtown core, these little northwestern areas of Cleveland. They're very close to a hospital called Metro Health, and that hospital is investing. They've already committed this. I'll put some links in the show notes below. You could Google it. They've committed a billion dollars of investment to the area. Not only are they going to do it to their campus, they're going to do it to the surrounding area. So I think we're going to see appreciation. I think we're going to see gentrification. So yeah, it's D-class right now, but that's okay because it's Burr deal. It allows you the opportunity to, to find Burr inventory, number one. Number two, we're going to alleviate that D-class risk right now because we're going to go Section 8. But down the road, I see big things happening. I mean, you take a little area like this and you inject a billion bucks. I mean, one would assume nice things are going to happen. So without further ado, let's talk about the house. Okay. 3521 Clark Ave, Cleveland, Ohio, 44109. Now, listed for 66 days for 39.9 by a real estate agent out of a company called Jam. Okay. Now, this is just a, a beat up house. It's a, you know, fixer upper, right? All they provided us was this one photo. Okay. And uh, that's good. All right. That's actually really good. We just got this one photo of this beat up little home, okay? Per the listing agent's notes, let's go ahead and read those. Handyman or investor special in an up and coming area near Clark and Fulton. Buy for rental or to fix up yourself. Selling as is. Many possibilities with this two bedroom home with a large master up. Nice side yard, full basement, newer roof, all offers welcomed. So we got some nice tips in there, right? Number one, newer roof. That's awesome. That's probably going to save us about $5,000 on a renovation. Second clue, all offers welcomed. That's great. We're going to couple that with the fact it's been on the market for 66 days, bro. Here's the deal. This thing is priced to move. It's a handyman special, right? They price it, you know, you price it low. It's on the low end of the pricing because it's all fucked up. People know you got to fix it up, right? So when you get these like low cost properties that are just priced at the bottom. You know, we're we're not trying to pretend like they're really nice. We're just like, yo, this house is fucked up. 
you have to fix it. We just priced it really low. Like, what's the benefit? Like, you know, people are trying to buy houses and like, oh, look at this really, really nice kitchen, you know, granite countertop, something like that, right? That's a benefit of that property. Property like this, what they're trying to do with this listing, the only benefit is, yo, it's cheap. That's it. The house, it fucking sucks, but it's cheap, right? So if it's really priced really well and it's really good and it's really a good deal, it flies off the shelf, right? This one, it isn't doing that. So 66 days on the market, it's not moving fast. And then this, uh, with what they said, all offers welcomed. That is code for like, dude, we know this motherfucker's overpriced. Just give us an offer. We want to sell it. So we're going to take that and the fact that it's not really being marketed well. Like, it, dude, it, it's an empty house. Like, I understand that it's not nice. It's all jacked up inside. But, dude, there's no reason. We don't have tenants to bother. There's no reason we can't have more photos to give us more of an idea. Uh, unfortunately, they didn't do that for everyone else but for you. I don't see that being a problem because I know what you're going to need to fix. Other people that are looking at this, they get these weird notions that like maybe they can salvage part of the kitchen or part of this or part of that. Nah, we're going to scrap all that, dude. We're going to set up a plan to buy this and do it all because, dude, there ain't going to be nothing worth saving in this kitchen or in the bathroom. Like We ain't going to use like one room of carpet or something like that. We're going to do the whole thing top to bottom. So we um, <clears throat> don't have the photos. Other people affects them. I think that's good for us. That's why it's been on the market 66 days. And we know that our sellers here, they're, they're ready to make an offer, man. All offers welcome. So because of that, Rainey, I want to try to get this for 25 k Even though it's listed for 40 I want to pick it up for 25 And I know we're going to need to spend approximately $30,000. That's a pretty damn good, uh, accurate estimate of what we're going to do because I know we need to do it all, right? We did get that other clue that we don't have to do the roof, which is great. So we don't have to worry about a roof on this bad boy. So what am I going to spend that 30 Gs on? Well, they um, I saw in the showing notes that uh, these are broker notes, by the way. You guys don't have access to it. Uh, it's just something brokers can see. All the plumbing and stuff like that, it's already been ripped out of the house, right? Copper thieves. You're in a D-class neighborhood, so when something's empty for a while, you're going to get the copper thieves. That's part of the game, but that's okay because we're going to replace all that plumbing with PEX. It's plastic. They don't go in there and steal the plumbing because they're plumbers, right? They're usually crackheads or heroin addicts, and uh, they're trying to scrap the copper, right? You can't scrap PEX, okay? So they're not going to try to break in and steal that shit, right? So we're going to replace the hot water tank. That'll be a G. Spend maybe like one to two more Gs on the plumbing. In addition, we're going to spend $20,000 on the cosmetics. We're going to put in a new kitchen, a new bath, repaint everything, patch any holes that we have. If there's hardwoods, which there should be in a nice old house like this, we're going to refinish them, right? So we should be at approximately 23 or so. Furnace, likely going to need one of those too, so that should take us up to 26, and then we're going to have another four for the Aw Fuck Fund. <laughs> Now, the aw fuck fund is something that's incredibly important when you're investing in real estate because there's going to be some unknowns, man. Are we going to need to do windows? Are we going to open up a wall and experience this? Is there going to be electrical issues, right? So that's, that's what the aw fuck fund is for. So with all that said, knowing that we don't really have to mess with that roof because it's newer, about 30 Gs, we should be able to take care of this sucker from top to bottom. Now, of course, when we make our offer, we're going to make a contingent on a third-party home inspection because... If you go in there and we see that there's structural issues, that blows the whole deal, brother, right? The all fuck fund, the $4,000, that ain't going to cover structural issues. So we're going to want to send that inspector in there, and we're looking for two main things here. One, make sure there ain't no structural issues, and two, make sure that roof really is in good condition, right? Because if we have to do the roof, that blows our budget. We need to readjust our price. So assuming no structural issues, no roof issue, 25 we buy it, 30 we put into it, that's going to be 55 we're all in. That will leave us with a Section 8 tenant paying $850 a month. Of that $850, I anticipate spending approximately $398, leaving us with a monthly average NOI of $452. And notice that I, I got CapEx in here, okay, $42. Bucks. That is 
not something you're going to pay every month or anything of that nature. That's a saving, right? Because, yeah, we're going to put in a new furnace, but, hey, furnaces only last 30 years. So every 30 years, that's three Gs. Hot water tank, we're putting in a new one for a G, but guess what? They only last about 15 years, so we're saving for that. So that money's really hitting your pocket, hitting your bank account now, but I'm just giving you the expectation that you're going to need to spend that money in the future, right? The roof that they say is newer, let's say it's five years old, okay? Roofs last about 30 years. That's about a $5,000 roof. So we got about 25 years of life left into it. So we're budgeting $42 a month because I know in 25 years you're going to have to drop 5 Gs on a roof. That's what that's for. Repairs and maintenance, 42 right? You're not doing $42 a month in repairs every month. You're doing a whole shit ton of zeros. And then when a tenant moves out, you're doing a turnover, right? You're going to spend a few grand on that. That's what that's for. So after all that's factored in, average should be 452, 54.24 a year on average. Now, after we do it all, make this house look pretty, make it look nice, agreeable gray walls, beautiful hardwood floors, you know, kind of nice, like modern looking kitchen, modern fixtures, furnace, hot water tank, you know, the whole nine, right? It's going to look legit. I'm anticipating we're going to get it to a price for 65K. Reason it's a little bit lower than a lot of the stuff in this neighborhood is because it's only a two bedroom. That's also why the rent was 850 and not a thousand, right? But I'm going to get it to a price for 65K is what I'm anticipating. You do that, the bank gonna loan you 48,750 back, brother. Meaning you're only gonna end up with 6,200 or so in the deal, which is exactly where you want to be because that makes your cash on cash return 47%. So, Rainy, I think this is gonna work out perfectly for you. I know you wanted to try to do two to four units, but hey, man, there's just not a lot of inventory of that right now. Uh, and I know you wanted to be in a little bit nicer neighborhoods, but I felt the fact that this neighborhood has got such a good trajectory, uh, trajectory rather, uh, that I thought it was worth showing you. And the fact that you can make such a high cash on cash return, I thought it was worth showing you. Because here's the thing, man. With Burr inventory, right, when we're trying to do Burr deals, what is the one thing we need? We need to have a distressed seller and a distressed property. The nicer the neighborhood, the fewer properties are going to be messed up, okay? Being a real estate investor in these neighborhoods, it's it's tough. It's a tough business. You get one tenant here, maybe you don't go Section 8. Maybe they jack your house up and you don't have enough money to fix up your house. Then your house is empty. Then copper thieves, they come in and they take your copper and now you're screwed. Now you got a house you don't know what to do with. It ain't making you money. It's just a liability. You want to sell it, right? So that's why neighborhoods like this have a lot of inventory we can do bird deals on. Now, if you had a, a two to four unit, there's there's very few of those as well, right? Why? Because number one, you got two tenants paying your rent. So if one is not paying you any rent, you still got the other income stream that helps stabilize your investment. And then of course, Number two reason why you're not going to see a lot of those is just because the inventory is so few and far between, man. We just we have a lot more single-family homes built in the Cleveland area than duplexes were built, right? So because of those reasons, two to four units in nicer neighborhoods, very, very rare that we can find bird deals. I will, of course, keep my eyes peeled for you because you did get the 10-pack. So when something like that comes, uh, pops up on the market, I will immediately grab it do an analysis for you and send it to you but just don't expect it's not something like you can just get that like hey man this is what i want james and then i can go find it for you in a couple days because that would assume they're just out there right not the case whereas with something like this we do have a little bit more inventory that's why i wanted to show it to you so if you want to make a move let us know uh, reply to the private email. We'll try to, you know, lowball the hell out of the seller, get this for you. If you just want to hold out, wait for that B or C duplex burr opportunity, that's totally fine. I will keep my eyes peeled, but I cannot tell you when your next video is going to come. It could be a month from now. It could be three months from now. I'll have my eyes peeled, but I can't sell you what doesn't exist. So let me know your thoughts. Give me your feedback, brother. The rest of you, if you're interested in working with me and my team in a similar fashion, just go to HoltonWise.com, click the Property Search for Sale tab, go to the MLS Search and Analysis Show, order yourself a package today. That's all I've got for you today, folks. Please do yourself a favor and smash that subscribe button because Holton Wise TV is real estate investing made easy. 
This is your show. This is the show where I work for you directly, taking your needs. I'm going through the MLS and I'm trying to find the best possible deal for you guys. Put down 25%. That's the perfect way to buy this. That's why real estate investing is the greatest industry in the world. Discount Property Warehouse, founded by real estate visionary Robert Thiel, author of The Short-Term Retirement Program, is a complete turnkey solution for acquiring cash-flowing investment properties in Memphis, Tennessee. Our turnkey properties include a third-party home inspection, new HVAC with 10-year warranties, new dimensional roofs, competitive price-to-rent ratios, discounted property insurance, in-house property management, private financing, and much more. At Discount Property Warehouse, we have a staff of licensed agents standing by, ready to assist you with every aspect of the process. Call us today or visit us online at discountpropertywarehouse.com. Good day, everyone. It's Angela Ramora here, your favorite Australian and the founder and owner of Ohio Cashflow. Over the last five years, Ohio Cashflow has established itself as the most reputable turnkey real estate investment company in the country. We offer solid B-class properties in Toledo, Ohio. We work and live in the same areas that we sell in. So when we sell your property, your tenants become our neighbors. We only take on a handful of investors every month. So for your chance to work with one of the best in the business, please fill out our investor application form, which you can find in the video notes below. Thanks for listening. And as we say down under, I'll catch you later, mate. Is that it? Yeah, we're done. All right, cool. Over 50% of those living in the greater Memphis area rent their home. This fact combined with the high price to rent ratio is why Forbes rates Memphis, Tennessee as one of the top real estate investment markets in the country. Memphis Investment Properties and their sister property management company, Reedy & Company Realtors, are among the largest and most trusted turnkey operations in this market. With over 30 years in business, a portfolio consisting of more than 2,700 active rentals, and an impeccable track record renovating over 6,000 single-family homes, it's no surprise they are one of the most reputable turnkey operations in the United States. Thanks for watching. Be sure to subscribe to our channel so you don't miss out on our latest content, including video tours and analysis of investment properties that are available for sale, real estate investment education, and our most interesting encounters with tenants from hell. Holton Wise, real estate investing made easy.